It's gonna be bad. That was 26. Thirty is the fastest you went. All right, so I just got off of the, the geared one that brought you the the motor gears. Um, kind of tiring. I pedaled my butt off to see how fast I can go within about this 500 foot space. Now I'm going to try this um, again. Uh, barely any pedaling. I'm going to try it on uh, our gearless motor, and let's pay attention to the quietness too. Radar gun? Yep. Ready? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Can you see it in the sun? Yeah. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. What did I get on the way up? Thirty-one. Thirty-one on the way up? Yeah. What are you on the way down? Thirty-three. That was a lot easier. I didn't even have to pedal again. So, um, basically, we, we're comparing basically the best mid drives on the market. Um, this particular mid drive we had to buy retails about $4,200. Um, this whole bike is like $2,100, including you know the whole power system and everything ready to go. So, um, in terms of price and performance, there's really there's no question when it comes to normal everyday driving. Um, what the mid drive is good for that these hubs can't touch um, is true steep off roading. Um, if you get that thing down into the low gear, I mean, it's like a tractor, you can climb anything. Um, so, if that's what you really need if, you, if you're like downhill and you have really steep inclines that you want to climb repeatedly, um, definitely the mid-drive is the way to go. Um, yes, it's noisy, yes, it's a lot more crude. Um, acceleration is nowhere near that and you have to fiddle with so many speeds. Um, um, the speeds can get annoying, but uh, it does work well for climbing. So we are in the middle of making our own system. We, we've been testing some of the best kits on the mid-drive kits on the market and we're coming out with our own system. Our goal is to outdo everything on the market and come in at a lower price point. Also simplify the number of gears and the ease of use because when you have 27 speeds on a bike, it's way overkill to be shifting through every gear like that. It's slow, it's tedious, it's cumbersome, um, it gets old really quick. So we're going to figure out how to streamline the process of the gear changing and offer an off-the-shelf, really potent um, twice the power of pretty much anything on the market right now in terms of mid-drive so all you downhillers and, and people with steep inclines that you want to routinely climb that's going to be your best choice but for 90 percent of uh, the people out there the buying public i would say definitely the gearless motors will suit you better than uh, a mid-drive kit if if you're not going to be doing super steep off-road it's just way smoother way easier way more acceleration way cheaper Pretty much all the all the pluses are there if you're not going to be doing super steep off-road climbing.